All right, the little generator's been going for about, I don't know, three hours now. Um, I've got a lot of steam in my lines coming from the cell. You may or may not be able to see that right there in the video, but uh, there's a good amount of water. If you come over here, though, you can see a puddle of water below the intake. Um, it's actually taking in water into the engine. It doesn't seem to affect it too much. Still running right along. This is a long-term endurance trials right here to see what happens to it over a uh, long, large amount of time, five, four, you know, multiple hours. Just to see if uh, we get too much water in the oil. I'm hoping that the uh, crankcase ventilation right there, crankcase vacuum, will uh, help take care of the water and the oil problem that we have from the blow-by. Now let's see. We're we running on 12 and a half amps or so. Uh, 146 volts DC and 115 volts AC. So there's that a little bit. You can see it from over here too. The uh, exhaust is still. I think it's cooler now than it was earlier. Um, as far as temperature, should probably get that. So there's your temps, about 240 on the exhaust manifold, about, what was it, 145 or whatever on the uh, spark plug area of the head. So. There it is, just running away. My neighbors probably want to shoot me, but, <laughs> oh well. Sucks to be, the, <laughs> sucks to be my neighbors, can tell you that much. But. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoy it. I know it's really hard to get the full grasp of everything that's going on while trying to basically watch this all through a keyhole. Um, but we're doing the best we can. It's really one of those things that you got to try or do to, and have it right there in front of you to really understand all the little adjustments and things we got to play with and then what we're trying to learn from this. And it is more than just, you know, turn on a cell, stick it in there and run it. Um, we're trying to learn as much as we possibly can about the burn characteristics, how to control it, um, and how to really implement this into an engine the right way. So, bear with us. It's time and slow, and I know it's boring, but it's uh, part of the process. So, we'll get there. Take care.